Hey everybody, Tom over here, Tommy Toners, Instagram, Blue Air Coins Resale. Uh, we have a new NGC unboxing. Let's see, 1874. It was in a PCGS AU details. So, uh, I don't have any pictures at the moment, but uh, this was a lot darker before we sent this in. Let's see, it was like almost black on both sides so uh, this was sent to NCS at NGC and NCS and then graded where they also graded uh, AU details so the coin looks a lot better but unfortunately uh, not in a straight graded holder I believe this was in a AU 53 or 55 holder at one time so unfortunately no good on that one Second one here, this is a 1836 penny. This is Newcomb number two. Uh, the owner of this was telling me that that's a good variety. Um, so this was also sent to NCS. Unfortunately, that uh, spot on the front was not able to be removed. Other than that, uh, let's say they were able to take a lot of that crud off this coin. It was a lot dirtier, so sadly they weren't able to get that off there, so they did cut it on details of environmental damage. So, but Mike said even in this condition, it's still a pretty valuable coin, so he seemed pretty happy. All right. So, I haven't looked at these yet, so they're not really in order. Right here's coin number one. This is a 1913 one cent. I don't remember who sent this in, so my apologies. All over on Instagram. If you need any coins submitted, feel free to find me over on Instagram, either Tommy's Toners or Blue Wire Coins and Resale. Get a hold of me either way. They wanted to come back in MS63. Nice coin there. Alright, this is a 1927. Beautiful color on this one. Gorgeous. And GC did not agree. AU details cleaned up that guy. Reverse side up so you know you got some beautiful toning. Look at that green and purple. Always nice to see those colors together. Tough color to find in copper. That's beautiful. That's a pretty coin. No star though. 66 red brown. Alright, this one I think we had. There we go. Alright, so this was the previous coin. Uh, if you'd seen me on Instagram, you'd seen I played a little joke. We cracked out the coin. I put that one in there. So that was the old coin. And this is the new coin and the new holder. They were going for the PL designation on this guy. Looks pretty good to me. So it went from that uh, 66 star to plain old 66. So I lost the star designation on that one. Let's see here. I believe this is the same one, 43S. Yep. All right. So this is the old grade. There's the coin back there behind. So it was MS65 star. Here's the coin. Beautiful reflective surfaces. Also was 
waiting for the PL designation. See all those polish lines. Look at that. So did it get the PL designation? So went from a 65 star to a 67 star. That's a nice upgrade. Congratulations on that upgrade there. Don't remember who that was, but congratulations. <clears throat> Next coin here, 1929, Lincoln Sun. Beautiful rainbow Tony there in the reverse. Fortunately, they called that one. Oh, details cleaned on that. Shame though, it's a pretty coin. Alright, here's some moderns we have. It's 2009 proof. Some nice coloring. Sixty-nine, you can. That's a nice grade, especially with the color. And if one's good, you know more is better. Also, a 69 UCAM. So, this one did go with the economy just because we didn't have any other modern coins heading in, so. This one got seen with all the other ones. I'm sure Sean was very happy with these grades. It's nice though how these 2009 pennies like to uh, tone. So I know when we get them into the store here we always check. 68. It's all 69 with that one. Not bad. Always check to see if they have uh, any color to them. This is a uh, 50 small letters flying eagle. Pretty coin. <clears throat> really flashy in hand. Really good luster. So, I believe this was Maryland Coins that sent this one with me. Oh, details. Shame though. That's a pretty coin. Alright, 56 Lincoln. Try to pick up those colors. Very nice. Sixty six brown. Very nice going. Tony on that one. Lots of green pennies in the submission. Nearly a full red back. Call that one a 66 red brown. Very nice. <coughs> Alright, this is a 1832 half cent. This one, I believe, also was sent in by Maryland Coins over on Instagram. So you can see a little bit of pitting in there. I'm going to guess that's why they called that one uh, environmental damage. So you never know, sometimes they'll let that pass, but I guess that one was just a little too much for them this time to straight green up. 13 Buffalo. Type 2, so we're going to have the flat mound, or I should say no mound.
good six. A better date there, so. Really good. So this one, I think he was going for the, yeah. So here we go. Here's the old grade on this one. MS66 star. Also going for the proof like designation on this guy. It's a really flashy color. So that went from that 66 star to a 66 star. So no change in that guy. A 1944 Mercury Dime, just a Philly. Really nice luster on this guy. Some nice Whitman Tony right there. MS 65.